Hello everyone, myself Chaitanya. I am going to take sociology as an optional in Sharachandra IAS Institute. Firstly, what is sociology? Sociology is nothing but scientific study of society. This is of course a simplistic definition of what sociology is. Each sociological thinkers like Karl Marx or Emile Durkheim has presented society in a varied way or different way. Nothing but society gives us a point of view of understanding social reality. But my definition or the definition that I have given right now is simplistic. Emile Durkheim has quoted sociology as so and so. Weber has defined sociology as so and so etc etc. Each has a different way of explaining society or understanding society, making sense of society. Obviously, thus the ability to of us to understand society is greater when compared to the rest. I mean, we do not deal with the varied aspect of society in an isolated fashion. It might be politics, it might be religion, economic life, etc. Each are interrelated and together they become our society, right? Our society is, uh, has economic system, family system, political systems, etc. All them constitute the social reality. That is what we are going to deal in sociology. And thus, the insights that sociologists have regarding the issues faced by the society is far greater than the rest. Thus, it makes sociology an interesting discipline to study. And that to a scientific study, that is, we use concepts. Uh, various tools etc to unlock the reality that is hidden in the society so what we are going to deal in this course is firstly we will see why sociology is an important option why we consider it as important firstly it is a scoring subject that is if you look at the score the score that many people get or many candidates get in sociology is high close to 280 300 etc and of course you have to master the subject then only you will be able to get good marks in sociology the thing is that there is ample material available with regards to sociology you need not go here and there there are certain standard books which you should definitely look into to get good marks like Harlambos and Hallmann, Ritzer theory etc etc the other thing is it is easy to understand ultimately we try to study the society everyone you me and everyone makes sense of the society in a different manner but what we try to do in this subject is we try to deal it scientifically and what scientifically means nothing but systematic way ml Durkheim has presented his picture in a systematic way similarly we have other sociologists as well so of these through their efforts through their tiring studies research analysis presented as theories to make sense of the social reality if we master that we are master we will be able to master sociology so firstly we need to know how to use these tools to make sense of the reality and that is presented to us by the sociologists and if we are able to grasp it then we understand sociology in a much better manner thus it is easy to understand because there is material, there is easy way to understand sociology in terms of usage of sociological thinkers to gain insights into what social reality is. Similarly, why sociology is important is because of its relevance with regards to other papers that you are going to deal in your mains examination. Essay. Sociological insights provide you different ways of looking into reality. Each sociologist try to make sense of the same societal reality. So one is political aspects or economic aspects or individual aspects of reality and in essay you are provided with a quotation and you should try to make sense what quotation says. So how you use that quotation and make sense of it at the same time provide different perspectives through the usage of thinkers at the same time your own sociological orientation that you get after you complete the course enables you to write the essay in multiple perspectives that too enriching in nature and provide it and that will provide you or fetch you good marks if you look at the toppers paper uh, who get top marks in uh, overall examination if you look at their sociology score if it is high and if you look at their essay score you will find a correlation between the high marks in both the optional as well as essay thus it directly helps you to tackle 
philosophical related questions as well because ultimately life is a philosophy we are guided by philosophies philosophies is nothing but the values and norms sociology tries to understand these values and norms some sociologists even try to evaluate these values and norms then the ethics ethics is ultimately about individual life at the same time solving societal problems bureaucratic problems etc in so in uh, sociology we have bureaucracy topic as well ideal type of bureaucracy given by max weber at the same time we deal with the organizational structures it might be horizontal vertical etc in economics topic that is provided to us in the paper one so obviously that provides us a key to understand reality at the individual level at the bureaucratic level at the same time the ways to understand the crux social problem and thus solving it so society provides or sociology provides us those tools and thus it also enables us to score good marks in ethics as well then in the gs1 we have separate topic called indian society that is directly from the paper 2 of sociology in sociology paper 2 deals with indian society that is application of sociological thinking on the indian society to make sense of indian society so obviously this topic is completely covered by the sociology then comes the gs2 in gs2 we have various social issues it might be trafficking it might be um, child labor etc etc so these obviously we will deal with them closely why because we study indian society in detail in sociology optional so obviously it helps you to fetch good marks in the overall paper and thus there are better chances of you getting rank using sociology not only scoring good marks in sociology but its application in other papers as well next is what do you need to have or what do you need to study to get good marks firstly you should have conceptual clarity see concepts are nothing but the tools for example patriarchy is a tool social exclusion social inclusion stratification etc these are various concepts and each sociology presents his concepts to understand social reality right we have jargon if you look at the keywords that are presented in the syllabus these are all nothing but concepts if you understand what these concepts are and their applications in the present society to make sense of society or to write the answers of the society obviously you are going to fetch good marks you should not simply mug up or blurt out whatever the content that you read in the newspaper or whatever sources you should be able to make sense how or understand how is so and so and why it is so and so etc and thus your understanding of the question at the same time the way you present your answers will be much more enriching and it will fetch you good marks and the other thing is that its relevance in today's social world you have to apply a sociological concepts whatever that is happening in the society it might be indian society it might be the western society or it might be the entire world if you look at the present globalized world we are interconnected with different societies you need to know what is the thing that is happening in the present world and use social sociological concepts to make sense of the present happenings for example we are seeing right wing majoritarianism in various societies the pluralism is in decline there is polarization in society the present post modern world where information is far more accessible when compared to the earlier societies so these are all topics that should invoke an interest to you so that you could understand it clearly sociology many questions are application oriented thus studying in itself is not sufficient you should also try to make sense of the present happenings of the society next you should be able to build the frameworks for answers see if you build the thought process to write the answers then it will become easier for you to write answers in the classroom we'll also try to find the frameworks so try to write the frameworks to write the answers easily right we select certain topics and we try to have a thought process over it we build an overall framework within which we try to write the answers and thus it makes easier for you to write the answers in the examination okay so this is how you should approach for improving your score in the examination next is the topics that are present in the syllabus see two books are like bible for the paper one one is harlambos and holborn the other is ritzer so firstly sociology the discipline we deal using the ritzer book ritzer we have certain topics that are mentioned uh, in the 
book itself that could be used to by you to understand the discipline okay at the same time within this uh, sociology the discipline we have various topics modernity and emergence of sociology etc etc if you look at the syllabus copy you will be able to understand it and the rest is also presented to you through the class lectures that i will deal in the class next up is sociology as science nothing but why sociology is science in the initial uh, or in the beginning of the slide itself i have explained you that sociology is nothing but scientific study of society i mean systematically we try to study society not in a haphazard fashion we also subject our theories or claims to experimentation and evaluation we try to prove whether what sociologists claim is true or not we try to criticize it we try to evaluate its relevance in the present world we try to see if it actually enables us to understand social reality in a more comprehensive manner or not so that is what this topic deals with whether sociology is science or not or how can it be made more scientific or whether there is a need to make it as scientific or not etc further as you could look into my class lectures at the same time harlambos and holborn for more understanding next up is the other topics in sociology is research method and analysis for it nothing but how sociological research is conducted the methodology used to conduct research etc etc for it we have source harlambos and holborn and next is sociological thinkers this is the bible of paper 1 firstly to understand paper 1 we require sociological thinkers okay and why because i said it is a scientific study systematic study these are the thinkers who have done systematic study on society they have given us frameworks they have given us conceptual tools they have given us deeper insights into the sociology as a discipline okay so this is sociological thinkers the most important part of paper 1 and if you cover paper 1 you should cover thinkers and if you cover thinkers you cover everything the thinkers try to make sense of social reality so their tentacles spread to other sections of society as well for example other sections of sociology for example ml durkheim's concepts on methodology etc you could also find its relevance in this paper karl marx's observations on economic life okay on organization on religion on family etc could be studied through the karl marx theory thus understanding other aspects of society it might be economy it might be politics it might be religion etc you could use the sociological thinkers to get the deeper insights the assistance from the thinkers is great at the same time if you are not able to understand sociological thinkers it becomes difficult for you to make sense of other topics as well okay so it is important for you to master thinkers and in this uh, course i am going to exclusively focus on sociological thinkers as well many times students find it difficult for them to understand sociological thinkers and that is one of the important reasons why they get less marks in the paper one if you master thinkers you will master sociology and the source book is ritzer next stratification and mobility nothing but how society is stratified etc stratified nothing but the social divisions that are observed in society in terms of power structure or in times of economy etc etc for example there is class inequality it is nothing but stratification division division of society in terms of layers and the two arranged hierarchically one above the other in terms of certain quantity or quality okay it might be economic wealth it might be power etc etc and the source book is harlambos and holborn and there are multiple aspects of so uh, stratification and mobility we are going to see each of them in detail and it is one of the important topic because many of the questions are asked on stratification next is work and economic life as the name itself suggests it deals with how work is organized how economics of society are organized shaped etc next up is politics and society as the name itself suggests the meaning of it is how politics operates in society how political life is organized the source is harlambos and holborn similarly we have religion and society and system of kinship and then comes a change in modern society that is the present society what we are witnessing the social changes the drastic changes it is said that we are living in post modern world similarly the paper 2 paper 2 is nothing but 
usage of sociological tools to make sense of indian society if you master the thinkers mentioned in the paper 1 understanding paper 2 becomes more easier right so in paper 2 we apply the sociological perspectives of the paper 1 if you look at ar desai is a marxist so if you understand marx you will be able to understand how ar desai used those tools to understand indian society similarly we have mn srinivas mn srinivas is a structural functionalist if you understand talcott parson ml darkim then making sense of mn srinivas observations on indian society becomes easier next up is gs gurie it is an important thing uh, gs gurie is considered as a father of indian sociology given his contribution to make sense of indian society so indology is altogether a different matter we are going to deal in the class itself and most of the source for understanding paper 2 comes from igno ma material or igno ba you select a particular topic you copy it from the internet and there and then you take the xerox of it to understand it okay it is a good material for understanding paper 2 next up is impact of colonial rule on indian society of course we are going to deal it in a sociological fashion you study it in indian history but what we want is sociological understanding of what was happening okay karl marx or nothing but they are desai views the happenings of indian society before independence in a certain fashion similarly there are other thinkers who view the shaping of social reality in a different fashion so in this way our understanding will be far more richer when compared to the history books that you study for your mains examination or prelims examination next up is social structure and in this we have rural and agrarian social structure caste system etc and we have other topics as well for them the scores is igno ma and for caste system as well igno ma is a source at the same time certain uh, topics are not mentioned which will be dealt in the class thus class lecture will be of an assistance to you similarly the tribal communities for this we have a special book by nadim hasnain if you have the uh, ability to get the book and read it or allocate more time you could use the assistance of this book similarly we have social classes in india ignore direct mention of backward classes or uh, lower class working class etc sorry lower class middle class etc you could use igno material for understanding of it next is system of kinship in india for, for that to igno and religion and society for that to igno if you look at the source you will find that igno has more relevance in understanding paper 2 next step is social changes in india for that we could we will see or take the assistance of class lectures next rural and agrarian society agrarian transformation in india and industrialization and urbanization in india politics and society these are important topics next we have social movements for that too we take the assistance of igno next population dynamics for a class lectures that means our population increases rise or decline or recent changes that we are witnessing that there is any equality or emergence of equality in terms of uh, sexes or nothing but male female population ratios why is there difference why certain regions are witnessing low women when compared to men etc etc the social reasons behind it next is challenges of social transformation further to we'll refer to class lectures so this is about this course thank you everyone